This is the future. The future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. The first one for this year. Can you believe it? It's a bit late, but anyway. This is my fish cleaning kit bucket whatever you want to call it all my goodies are in here and uh, the reason why we're doing this video today is we're going to do like uh, my method versus professional methods I'm going to show you how stupid I was in the last five years of owning a fish tank in cleaning fish uh, well not the fish themselves <laughs> obviously but cleaning the tank cleaning the, 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 the ornaments and the way that I saw now how the pros do it but the methods I was shown was shown by said pros while buying the stuff in the shops and then I saw on YouTube other methods which is much better hopefully much better than what I'm doing um, I had to throw out a lot of my ornaments especially some of the plants like this ones because you know uh, to try and clean algae from this it takes forever if you have a toothbrush. You're sitting and scrubbing them all day long. And you don't always have time to clean your tank and your ornaments the whole day. Uh, and I used to take out all the water, take out all the stones, wash everything by hand. So let's see my method compared to the professional methods. Which one is best? Stay tuned. Let's start with an ornament. I first want to test the theory before we put the actual ornaments in. This is a very old one, I haven't used it in a long while. And cleaning this is a pain in the ass. I'm telling you, you have to scrub each and every little thingy. Scrub here and scrub those. And after a while you start taking off the paint to take off the color. And what I want to do is, that was the price for it many moons ago and I think today it'll pay over a thousand for it anyway normally what I do is I take warm water I soak them as they're soaking I'm scrubbing now the method that I was shown for cleaning this very easily without the scrubbing is to put one cup of bleach into the water and have it soak for about half an hour the bleach will eat away all the algae that you can see is still stuck there see there's still algae there that discoloration and also apparently brings back the color of your ornaments after you have bleached them we will put them in a claw neutralizer for half an hour before it goes back into the tank so let's first test it on this one we're going to bleach this one and see how it goes so I'm going to use three caps of bleach. Now let it soak for about half an hour and then we see if there's any change or difference to the ornament. A few minutes later. Okay this is what it looks like after half an hour, actually a bit more than half an hour in the bleach and uh, I really don't see a difference. That old G is still there but this thing hasn't been used in almost a year or two. So let me take something that's currently in the tank, put that in the bleach and see if that makes a difference. Maybe because this is an old ornament, um, it doesn't clean as well. Okay guys, so I've put something in the, in the bleach that was actually in my tank right now. It's been in here for almost half an hour to see if the dirt and grime is going to come off and if it actually does restore the color we'll know now for a fact but it doesn't seem to me like this is actually working the next day hi guys so uh, welcome back it is the next day and what have we learned from the the bleach method we've learned that the bleach does absolutely nothing it does nothing it doesn't 
loosen the algae, it doesn't lift it up, it doesn't make it easier to clean, nothing. Look at that. It's still full of algae, even the day after. And I think I can use a screwdriver or something to scratch this off. It does nothing. It's a waste of time. The only thing it does is poison my plants. Because now I have to obviously put these two in a neutralizer to get the, the, the bleach off. So um, I'm going to take a sponge and see if I can clean them while it's dry and see if that isn't a bit more effective. But yeah, there's no discoloration, nothing became lighter, the, the, the algae didn't become easier to remove, nothing. So the bleach method is a waste of time. We're going to use a toothbrush, this uh, sponge, to see if we can clean this ornament um, more effectively the old school way. Um, and if I can get this thing clean, you can get anything clean because I think this is one of the most difficult ornaments to clean because of all the spaces in between. And uh, I'll also use a, a nail brush to get into these smaller spaces. So uh, let's see how my, myth, how my method works compared to the pro method. This is the best I can get it. It's not even clean. I used a toothbrush, I also used <laughs> this brush and nothing. It makes absolutely no difference. This algae is, has basically discolored this whole thing. It's so thick, I can't even scratch it off with my nail. Maybe if I use a steel brush, it'll work. That'll probably damage the ornament more than cleaning it. But anyway. The, the bleach doesn't do anything for me. Now for my method. Take out the ornaments out of the tank while they're still wet. Clean them with a toothbrush or scrub uh, sponge while they're still wet. And rinse them off in clean water. My method. Instant gratification. All the algae is off. Just by scrubbing it in clean water, clean hot water, while it was still wet. Let's uh, see what another one looks like. Here's a before. And here is the after. Look at that. Most of the algae is off. And uh, it looks much better than it was. Let's check out my Millennium Falcon. Before. Oh, okay, the Falcon was a bust. It didn't come out as clean as I would hope. So it seems like the algae does discolor the, the hard ornaments, you know, your models. Um, you can't really get everything off. On the plants and the stone ones, it, it comes out much cleaner. But on these um, models, it's, uh, it's a bit of a problem. So, okay, well I tried. At least, <coughs> The bottom still looks like it's supposed to look. <laughs> okay, well, let's carry on. You win some, you lose some. Okay, let me quickly update you guys. Um, this is now the ornaments after they are dry, after a while. Um, but I think I messed up. I didn't realize that there was soap on that brush. So everything here was washed with soap, technically speaking. So as we all know, that's no good for the fish. So what I've done is I have rinsed out my bucket of clean water. I've placed new clean water in here. I'm gonna put a dechlorinizer or a neutralizer into the water and I'm gonna have them soak for about an hour to neutralize the soap and uh, all times that is going to work. Okay, while well, this is all soaking in the neutralizer or dechlorinizer for an hour, we are going to do some other things, like have breakfast. Look at my skull. So this is basically all the ornaments I have. Down chopper, millennium falcon, dragon head, and so on. So let's hope this neutralizer does the trick. Otherwise I'm going to have some dead fishes tomorrow. And that'll not be very nice, because I've got a lot of babies. 
Well, that's it, guys. Come back next time to see the me versus pro version of cleaning the sides of a tank. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.